Hey guys, welcome to Shoji PG Rails. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer Mixiamo animation and import it in CryEngine 5. I created this character in Adobe Fuse. Uh, if you want to know how I how you can do that, you can watch my other videos. But I'm not going to use the Mixiamo characters, but I'm going to use my own character. Uh, it works better. Uh, but I'm going to use the Mixiamo animations. Okay, let's go find Idle first. Actually, I'm going to breathing idle. Okay, um, this is the right animation. So here's the thing. So I'm going to download it. I didn't download my characters. Okay, I'm going to download the animation. Keep everything as it is. Format ABX skin. Skin is going to be with skin. Frames per second is 30. Key frame reduction is none. So make sure the skin is with skin. Okay, the first animation we're going to download with skin. I'm going to click on download. Alright, so I'm downloading it. I'm going to choose other animation meanwhile. Walking. Okay, so walking has to be in place. I'm happy with this walking animation. Uh, make sure it's in place and I'm going to click on download. This time I'm going to download without the skin. Because I already have one animation with skin, so we're going to use the same skin. Without skin. Everything else is the same as the previous one and the default. Download it. While it's downloading it, I'm going to prepare my Blender. I'm going to open Blender. I remove all the things, objects from the scene. I have the unit uh, set to length, metric, angle, degrees, and unit scale is one. Um, my user, my input is um, my right click. Um, so select with the right click. I can select right click. So sometimes people change that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on File, Import, FBX. Um, I'm going to click on Manual Orientation. Make sure it's plus Z forward and Y up. I'm going to um, import the ideal animation because it has it has the skin. So I'm going to import FBX. This orientation is very important, make sure, um, because that way you have the right a rotation in the editor facing Y forward and Z up. This is going to be the same in CryEngine, so that import is important. I'm going to rename this armature to Hero, and if I play the animation, that's the animation, right? That's our first animation. All right, so let's get started. Um, now I'm going to click on this left bottom corner and open a new window. This is going to be click here, uh, choose a dope sheet. Click on Dove Sheet, choose Action Editor, and this is our uh, animation name. So as you see, I mean, we have two listed. This is the one has the keyframes. So I'm going to name it. I'm going to change it to Idle. Okay, because then if you play it, as you see, there's the right animation, and the other one should be Pose. So we can name this to Pose. This is our default Pose. So we have two animation now. I'm uh, not two animation, but one is the Pose and one is the Idle, right? Okay, and now bring in the walking animation. All you have to do is click on File, Input, do the same thing, we uh, same input procedure, Manual Orientation plus Z forward, Y up, uh, click on Walking, Import, all right. So once you do that, so you see Armature, this is the walking animation, and this is the uh, our hero default one, right? So I'm going to click on Hero. And if I go here, now I'm going to see the walking animation here. If I click here, that's the walking animation. And make sure you drag the frame to the beginning, otherwise you're not going to see the animation. If I play, it's walking, right? So let's rename it to walking. Okay, now you see the idle, pose, and walking. Now I'm going to delete the, um, the, walk, uh, the walking armature. Because once you import it, you don't have to do anything. It automatically adds to the the existing armature so i'm going to delete the walking armature and the later import i'm going to click on right click and delete hierarchy and you're left with hero right uh, and hero has um idle animation walking animation and then the pose okay all right so now you can go ahead and save uh, save save your blender stuff i'm going to select all and this is very important to get the uh, the rotation right okay select all go to object apply uh, okay before i do that i'm going to show you how it looks like 
Uh, remember we changed the rotation. Uh, so this get changes 90, 0, 180. Uh, we have to apply the rotation so that it becomes 0, 0, 0. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select all object apply rotation and it becomes 0, 0, 0. Now, one, then when you import in cry engine, your character will be facing y axis and z up. All right. Now select all file export fbx selected objects plus z forward y up i'm going to choose the uh, mesh and armature by sh holding shift key and go to download i'm going to name this hero dot fbx export open the cryengine client i'm going to create a brand new project as you see i have 5.5.2 I'm going to choose C-sharp because I understand C-sharp, even though we're not going to do any coding. Pick third-person template. Change the name of your project. I'm going to go ahead and create the project. Open the project. All right, so it's open. Go to Tools, um, Character Tool. Now, go to your folder where you exported the Hero FBX. This is the fbx file which has both of the animation and also the pose so i'm going to click and drag it and put it in the character tool i'm going to go to objects characters create a new folder called hero and select this so it's going to create the character definition and put it in the folder meanwhile while this is running don't click on the uh, character tool otherwise you know there's a chance it will crash all right so we're ready click on the left panel go to navigate to hero hero cdf um i double click on it it's supposed to show since it's not showing what you have to do you have to click on display options and then um, click on it again to close the window uh so this is here here's our character we just imported right and as you see that this is facing the um y-axis which is the yellow and the z-axis is the blue one so this is correct. Uh, if you compare this with the sample character, see that same axis, same um, is facing Y and Z up. All right. So our hero. So there are a couple of things you have to do, right? This is our um, skeleton. All right. So click on the skeleton, and we're going to create a new animation events file. Uh, we're going to put it in, in the the same folder. And name it hero anim events. All right, save it. Um, now, uh, if you click on our character skeleton, you see our um, two animation and pose. Right, this is the pose. This is the idle animation, and this is the walking animation. All right, so it works. So this is a good progress. Okay, um, let's go ahead and click on create anim settings uh, and. We have to add um, our skeleton to the skeleton list. Add, navigate to our skeleton, save it. Uh, what else we have to do? All right, so after you add your skeleton to the skeleton list, your skeleton will show up here. I right, choose your skeleton and save. So we are sharing the same skeleton for all of our animation and poses. Safe. All right, cool. I think we're done with this character tool window. Uh, let me see. Anything else? Anything else? No, I don't think so. So we can close this window. Go to your CryEngine client and go to Reveal in Explorer. Uh, go to Assets, Animation, Manequin, Preview. Double click on, the, uh, open the uh, player.xml file in your editor. We're going to change the uh, change it to hero. Save and close this. Uh, I think we have to make one more change. Um, go to code in your asset browser. Uh, player. Double click on player C sharp file. Uh, in here you're going to do the same it's going to do hero hero.cdf save it um, then close it 
And we can go to tools, animation, menu queen editor. Let's maximize it and go to file load preview setup. So this is the file that we modified earlier. Alright, so in here you will see uh, walking and this is the this is for idle. So click on the option one, click on here, and then we're gonna change the animation to idle. Change the walk animation. All right, this is our character, right? Okay, so we have post, walking, idle, and now we're going to save changes, save, and close this window, go to file, open, open the level, and the example. There you go, our character is there, we don't have to boost our sandbox. Uh, let's see, click on play, and there you go. Walking and idle, beautiful. And his his texture material goes well with the background, all white. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it useful. If you are, uh, if you have any question, you can put them in the comment section. Until next time, goodbye.